गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड वेलकम बैक टू द ब्लॉग आई हैड अ डिसेंट रेस्ट आफ्टर यस्टरडेज हाइक एंड टूडे वी अगेन हैव अ वेरी लॉन्ग डे अड ऑफ फर्स आई एल बी कवरिंग अ बंच ऑफ फेमस कैसल्स आई एल बी गोइंग टू एन आइल एंड आई एल बी विजिटिंग अ कपल ऑफ अडोरेबल क्यूट टाउन्स बट फर्स्ट आई एम गोन हैव माई ब्रेकफर्स्ट हेयर जस्ट लाइक यस्टरडे एंड आफ्टर दिस वील गेट स्टार्ट checked out from the bnb carol was such a fantastic host uh, she was less of a host and more like a mother i mean it's the pleasure of meeting such hosts and learning about their stories that makes the experience of staying in airbnb so much more exciting for me if you are ever in snoronia and are looking for accommodation i would highly recommend her place it's in capel curing next up i am going to drive to the royal town of kenarfin where the most visited castle of wales is situated it is also a world heritage site i am talking about the kenafen castle let's go arrived at the castle I'm going to find out how much time I'll be spending here and I'll get a parking ticket accordingly. Got the parking ticket it's 5.5 pounds. Parking in Wales in general is super expensive. So this is the Kenarfen Castle. Take a good look because this is the only view of this you're going to see because I just found out that the castle is closed on Thursdays and Fridays. Another castle that I was planning to visit which is in Conwy is also closed on Thursdays and Fridays and today is Thursday by the way so that is so unfortunate also considering that I already paid the 5.5 pound uh, parking ticket but whatever there's another castle that we are going to visit uh, on Isle of Anglesey which is the next destination so and it also happens to be a UNESCO world heritage site I'm planning what i'm going to do in angle c and how my, how i'm going to go about it so i'm going to start here and some do something like this to enter angle c you pass through the menai suspension bridge which is what i'm doing right now i'm not going to stop here because i have a lot more places to see but i just thought i'll give you a quick view of the drive through the bridge the station is on the left arrived at uh, bomoris which is a small town on isle of anglesey i'm going to head to the bomoris castle but first i want to show you what i'm looking at from the car park take a look at this I'm trying to find a restaurant quickly because i have to visit the castle in 45 minutes Ooh, I fancy some tapas. Let's see if this place is open and I can get a table here. Got a table and I'm trying to decide what to get. So, I'm having one vegetable paella and one patatas bravas. The food is here. I'm going to dive right into it. That was one heavy meal. Now it's finally time to go visit a castle. Bomeris Castle is part of a world heritage site ranked alongside the likes of the Egyptian pyramid and Taj Mahal. Yeah, I'm going to decide for myself if that's true. Before we enter, I just wanted to show you this. It's very common culture in Wales to uh, sort of commemorate their football players with these statues which I think is a great gesture. Bomoris Castle is a UNESCO World Heritage Site as it is one of the best examples of late 13th and early 14th century military architecture. The concentric design of the castle was done to maximize the defenses making the castle impenetrable. 
the construction of this castle was started in 1295 and by the time the project was finished the total budget spent was 15000 pounds that's a lot considering it was late 13th century many historians have called this castle as a vanity project for edward 1 As an overly ambitious project, this castle was always going to be unfinished. Uh, even now you can see that the castle is unfinished rather than in ruins and there's a main reason behind this. So Edward I and the architect James died during the construction of the castle and then the king decided to focus on conquering the Scots rather than having control in Wales. As a Game of Thrones fan, these castles always remind me of the show. Like for example, this window reminds me of the first episode where Jamie pushed Bran off the window. These corridors are really very spooky. Look at this unfinished architecture. These are not ruins because this castle was never attacked. So that was the Bemoris castle. Let's head on to the next destination. And now I've arrived at the Paris mountain copper mines. Throughout the whale strip, I wanted to visit a mine, but all of them were closed. Thankfully, this one is open 24 seven. So this is essentially the copper mine. Hmm. Walking here feels like I'm walking on Mars. Not that I know how that feels, but... So that is apparently one of the popular spots that people go to, but I'm running really late, so I'm not gonna go there. This spot has great views of this Noronia National Park the ocean as well as the rest of Isle of Anglesey. <sighs> Alright, enough of that. Time to head towards the last spot of the entire whale strip. And I have arrived at the final destination of the entire trip. The Trath Klingedwin Beach, our last stop for today. Let's go. I'm gonna walk towards the lighthouse. It's gonna take me around half an hour. Instead of walking that much on the beach, I decided to take the forest trail towards the lighthouse. Gotta admit, it's a bit spooky because there's absolutely no one else around here. So 
So today I went to a village, I visited a castle, I climbed a tiny mountain, went through a forest and now I'm at a beach. It was quite a packed day to be honest. Almost there at the lighthouse. This feels like a proper horror movie setting. Let's see what's inside. And with that, we come to the end of the Wales road trip. I just want to thank all of you who watched my vlogs and experienced all of this with me. It was a fantastic experience. I saw a lot of new places. I met a lot of new people. Wales is a fantastic country and I would definitely, definitely recommend everyone who come to UK to come to Wales and see all its beautiful villages, beaches and what not. This country has everything to offer. So with that, I'm going to wrap up these vlog series and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!